So welcome to the next module that is administration workflow. So as we have seen administration hierarchy, it is necessary to know how the administration key area responsibilities and its workflow is all along. So moving on to the next, we see cloud administration workflow from new service provisioning. So what is the first thing when comes into picture is that the department user will raise a request for your service like a VM for application. So it will be your a department user will raise a request for that service that is a VM for any application. The next is that IT head like in the hierarchy as you have seen the IT head will validate the request and it will send to the department head for cost approval. It needs a cost approval like whatever the requirements are meant there are there as per the recommendation the cost approval should be done so it head will validate the request a validation is very important whether the request is as per the uh, needed uh, as per the requirement and then it will validate and then send the department head for the cost approval once the cost approval is done it will what will happen is when approval is obtained request comes to the help desk so to open a a ticket so there will be a ticket open. So when it comes to the help desk, they will open a ticket. And then the cloud administrator will come into picture and it will pick up the ticket and provision the services on the cloud. As the key responsibility areas we had seen, provisioning of the services was done by the cloud administrator. So once the ticket is picked up by cloud administrator, what he will do is he will provision the services on the cloud as per the request was from department use. So, the provision services credential are handed over to the requested user. All the provision services, whatever the services as per requirement for there, they, the credentials are handed over to the requested user. And then other requests, like if they are uh, sending other requests, all the other admin organization works on the request. So that if there are further requests on the same request, then it will be helpful. So the other admin organization will work on that request. So this is how the cloud administration workflow includes for the new services provisioning. So here you can see a sample ticket for new services provisioning. You can see here the ticket number. This is a sample. So consider like it is a, a sample. So what all uh, things are included, what points are included over here is as per the workflow, we can see there is a ticket number. As you can see, once uh, uh, like IT head will validate and send uh, to the department head for cost uh, approval, uh, it, the help desk will open a ticket. So here the ticket number is there. You can see the severity. Like what severity? What are the like what priority to be given? Is it critical? Uh, so A, B. So on depending upon that, you need to give the severity of that ticket. Then the request raised by the person who has raised the request and the request type. What type of request it is? Is it a cloud service? Is it a network service? So new cloud service and approval authority. So it is approval authority is the sealed head. And whom is it assigned to? It is assigned to cloud admin. So what is the status? The status might be opened, closed, depending upon how the request is processed, how the ticket is being processed. Once it is done or once it is under review, the status will be as per those things. It is now open in the sample we can see. And then next is the serve in details. You can see the service requested that is the service is requested as said for application that is a VM. Operating system is required as Windows Server. Application is SQL Developer. The number of systems you can see two. Storage is 200 GB, CPU 4, memory 16, ports this are to be opened. Usage is 24 by 7. So it's stating that you C5 if it is a AWS or DS series if it is Azure. So according to that, like we can't just go, like we can't just uh, provision the services according to uh, CPU memory, what they have provided. Okay, they want CPU to be four. They want memory to be 16 GB. Yes, we got the request. Now what comes is that our cloud platforms, AWS and Azure. So as you know, there are series like T2 micro having its 
with CPU 1, CPU 2, CPU 4, we can assign the virtual CPUs. So here it is suggesting that you C5 if it is a AWS and DS series if it is Azure as this will come into picture like this number of instances, storage, CPU memory, ports will be satisfied as per the customer request. So this is how the sample ticket looks for new services provisioning. So next is cloud administration workflow. So cloud administration workflow for troubleshooting issues. As we have seen new services provisioning, we will look for cloud troubleshooting issues. So how it is done? The first is that user will raise a request for issues in accessing services from cloud. So if there are any issues, if there are any bugs overcoming in accessing any services from cloud, uh, the user will raise its request. At the last, we'll see a small demo how to raise a uh, ticket, how to raise a uh, issue. So after that, IT help desk creates a ticket. So help desk, as you know, it's a support. It will always create a ticket and it will assign to the administrator. Now, what a cloud administrator will do is it will investigate the issues. Like what are the issues? What what kind of uh, accessing issue is faced by the user? So it will go. And if it uh, wants more information or if it, it cannot handle that request what it will do that the issue needs to escalate so it will come to know yeah uh, the issue needs to be escalated more information is needed so it will be raised with oem cloud support team so with the support team the issue will be raised further and that the and then the support team will be uh, solving the issues so the issues will be resolved and then it goes to the cloud admin maintain rc so for maintenance of root cause analysis so it will go to the cloud admin so this is how the troubleshooting issues are done from raising a request to going to creating a ticket from support then investigating then escalating the issue is so, uh, issue is resolved then moving on to the cloud admin to maintain the rc so seeing the sample ticket of issues or break fixes let's see that as i have told you this is a sample ticket you can see ticket number the severity request rest request type that is a break fix assigned to the cloud admin status is open approval authority is it head as it is an issue of troubleshooting uh, or break fixing its uh, approval authority will be it head issue headline is vm get reboot frequently so what was the issue raised that was a vm gets rebooted frequently so issue is de uh, described a small description to be maintained like what uh, happens to that that is vm is getting rebooted randomly after applying updates since last Monday. So what is happening was it gets rebooted like frequently it's get, getting rebooted. So then number of users impacted because of this issue there are 500 plus users that are being impacted and what were the number of instances that were two incident of occurrence was random it randomly occurred and any steps performed to fix manually shut down and start so manually shut down and start this were the any steps to perform for the fixing of this issue so this is how the sample ticket for issuing or brick fixing is to be done so let's stop over here and we have seen cloud administration workflow for provisioning services and issues and brick fixing